thought I would do a quick review on the quantum telemetry system 2.4 gigs basically it's a battery monitoring system for up to a six cell lipo it will give you a readout of each and every cell with a voltage reading alongside and a total voltage region reading at the bottom now basically uh, it doesn't only give you a voltage readout of your batteries if you buy an additional unit it will actually give you a readout of your amps drawn and your engine temperature which is fine but I just basically use it at the moment for battery monitoring because if you have an expensive aircraft and you wish um, basically to know what your voltage region reading is so that you have a nice safe flight this is perfect not only that which I find myself because I use this system um, I find I'm getting within a region of three to five minutes extra fly time which means to say I'm using my battery to the full potential and not just basically guessing uh, how long I've got to fly and then bringing it into land so basically it monitors your battery it monitors your amps drawn and also it monitors your engine temperature great it's got a nice good sized screen it's 132 by 64 and it's high contrast so it can be easily seen obviously if you're flying your plane you don't really want to keep on looking down at your um, screen so it has an audible uh, side on there warning you that if your cells drop below a certain voltage you know ding 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 an alarm will sound um, it has a very good range and also let me see some of the parts on the on the features um, where are we gone real-time in-flight voltage monitoring large 132 by 64 pixel LCD screen so it gives you your voltage at a check low voltage alarm now when you pack voltage is a, when your volt give me words out here so that when your pack voltage is about to drop it will basically alarm it's a 2.4 gig DSSS connection provides fault free secure connection at all times auto scan finds transmitter within seconds low current drain won't shorten your flight time internal lithium polymer battery with USB charging so yeah you can charge this from the car or from your computer and the transmitter weight is only 16 gram which is really really good so what do we get in a box in short we have the in-car charger adapter you have your cable so you that would plug into there this part would plug into there to charge your receiver unit so you can charge it from the car or you can charge it from the computer here is your uh, adapter which basically fits on the back of here this would fit onto your transmitter so bearing in mind as well this works totally separate from your transmitter so you're going to get no interferences from anywhere um, I particularly don't like this sort of a bracket so I made my own bracket to actually mount uh, on the aerial which I thought was a lot easier to get on and get off but you probably have your own variations if you want any ideas just drop me a line right here is your transmitting unit great little unit as I say 16G in weight this end will connect to your receiver any free channel because it will draw its power from that and the actual power it draws isn't, isn't going to make any difference uh, to your flight time 2.4 aerial now as good as this aerial is I would probably strongly recommend the flexi aerial the flexi aerial gives you uh, a good bit more distance as well funny enough and to give you an example of what the flexi aerial looks like here we have it as it says it's a flexi aerial you can put it in your fuselage basically anywhere 
feed it where you want where you want if you cramp for space you know for example if you cramp for space something like this size is probably a bit uh, a bit awkward but I normally fly with this and I find it perfect but these as I say are additional costs as is um, unit which actually there's another unit which connects to this another module which will give you your amp readout and your engine temperature as well if you so wish but I just basically mainly use it for uh, monitoring battery getting the most out of uh, the battery and my flight time uh, right to give you an example how this one would work uh, if you're binding for the first time you would hold both these buttons down until you were at a bleep as soon as your screen lit up then you would let go as you beep let go and a presto start again as you beep hold it screen on as soon as the screen comes on release and it says binding now whilst that one's waiting to have its confirmation from the transmitter basically what we do I'm using a three cell battery here just for demonstration purposes it's very clearly marked anyway so you can't really get it wrong and if you do get it wrong you're not going to damage the unit so as you're holding it like that you got your blacks to the bottom oh, there's a little tiny button here I almost forgot to mention you hold that one down you push your battery in on the balance side and you see a continual green light there see that green light now that green lights flashing that's basically now sending the signal to the receiver and we should be able to see um, the readout of the cells on the actual screen now so we'll just put that one there whilst it's flashing and as we can see on the screen yes we got three cells up three cell battery cell one's reading 4.15 cell 2 4.13 cell 3 4.15 fine off we go flying basically those voltage bars will actually drop down as soon as they drop down for example to about 3.2 volts or whichever you want to set it on an alarm will sound giving you enough time basically to do your circuit come on down and land if for example you're trying to push to the limits a little bit more it will actually alarm again by this time you should actually be down because you are risking it a bit but as I say 4.15 on one cell 4.13 4.15 giving you a total readout of 12.42 now obviously if you had the other module linked in to the transmitter uh, for your amps and for your engine temperature that would also show on the screen as well or if you had those two on and a six cell battery your six cells would read your amps and your engine temperature would read also I do have the other u module as well but I haven't started using it yet but I probably will do later I concentrate basically uh, at the moment with uh, just keeping an eye on my batteries I find it's an invaluable unit and totally totally happy with it well I hope you like this review I should just turn the system off and basically all you do with this one is take your balance lead out just like that and that's fine so hope the video is okay I'm no uh, superstar when it comes to videoing but thank you very much um, if you can please subscribe to my channel and I'll keep you updated on any other things which come around thank you very much and goodbye